I wanted to talk about something <clears throat> because it is something really remarkable and it was it fascinated me a couple of days ago I paid somebody to uh, perform a ceremonial magic on my behalf not towards somebody it was for me personally now I did not give this person details about my situation well, where I live, and my birthday, my full name, um, those things. And they did tell me, look, it may take a couple of days, but I will get back in contact with you. And this was somebody, I mean, I trusted them, that they would get back in contact with me. And yesterday evening, I was laying in my bed and I just... I couldn't sleep and that is abnormal for me normally I don't have any problem sleeping but I was laying in my bed and I knew that they were doing it then I just knew that they were performing what I asked them to do for me and I was right because when I I, I got up I didn't look at my email or anything I made myself a cup of tea to sleep I went back to bed I fell asleep <coughs> and on the top of my email, when I opened it this morning, it was them contacting me. And uh, I did not give this person any information about uh, the situation that I wanted them to, uh, to get back to me on. But it was the, um, well, the fact that, uh, that, that, I have an interest in occultism, that I moved countries, and that I just wanted to know if there is a particular spirit that that is maybe not attached to me, but wants to communicate something to me. And I have expected them to come back and say, uh, no, there isn't. <clears throat> but I was wrong. <clears throat> they came back with the name of a spirit, a very specific spirit, which is the French version of Jack O'Lantern. And his, and his name is um, Jan Gantian. And I was so taken aback by that, because first, I, I never expected that. Um, but yeah, with all the weirdness in the valley here, they gave me details about um, what what they did, what questions they asked it for me. And what they said was, um, it is it is not a, an evil spirit by far, not at all. Um, it has some negative connotations to it because people that are disrespectful in forests, uh, it makes them get lost. But people who are respectful to the natural world and who who are not arrogant towards spirits, he helps them. And um, I look, I already talked in my my valley weirdness videos that I had something happen to me that healed my knee, and it has healed. I mean, I don't feel that knee anymore. I can do everything with that knee I couldn't do in the before, ever since I hurt that knee, which is <laughs> really a long time ago, it just gone. It everything in that knee just is back to normal. To my feeling, that yeah. is. And um, yeah, that's that that really. I mean, it really struck a chord with me. It is a spirit that often manifests as um, willow the wisps in forests and in that valley I had, I had weird things happen I have captured orbs on camera and I don't always post them but yeah I captured one spectacular orb in uh, the Franci Francigene here in Italy and I posted that on the Beyond Room uh, 313 group on Facebook I also posted it on my hiking Instagram but yeah, I knew a spirit was there with me, and I think it might have been that spirit, thinking back on it. It's a spirit that looks 
um, well, to be honest, looks a bit frightening. And the way that it is depicted in the thumbnail makes it look like an Ars Goetia demon, but it's not. It's not a demon at all, it's just a spirit. And, I mean, just a spirit, it's not a demon in that. I mean, demons are spirit, but you know what I mean, it's not a Goetia entity, spirit, demon. It is a particular to France. And the person told me, like, it is highly likely that you have a lineage to that place where it comes from, which is Bretagne, um, in France, which is, you have Normandy, and then under, underneath that, the peninsula underneath it is Bretagne. And I do, actually, my, my last name, Kemp, uh, the first recorded uh, mention of that name, the first time that name was found in um, records, historic records, is 700 years ago in Normandy. And you had the war with Normandy and, and Bretagne, Bretagne, Bretagne. Um, the English version, the English name of Bretagne is Brittany. So France has a region that is Brittany. And then the Normans went to Britain, etc. But that's neither here or there. But yeah, I do actually have a lineage going back there. <laughs> and it, I mean, it was so amazing, really. I, I had not expected it. Because I have no real... Uh, interest in it let's say to i mean i do talk about removing entities and banishing them from from a house etc but to 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 have some sort of communication with them or even a particular spirit that that um establish itself as some sort of patron spirit to me that, well, that I definitely didn't expect, but it makes sense, doesn't it? The amount of time that I spend out there, I don't think that I'm ever disrespectful. I don't have a history of being disrespectful towards nature, nature or my natural surroundings. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I wanted to make a video about that because it, I mean, I said in my last Valley Weirdness video that I'm kind of afraid to go back out there because of what happened and I had this very uncomfortable feeling and that feeling just completely disappeared when I when I saw them, what they had written back to me. So, that, yeah, that's, I think, yeah, that's basically all I really wanted to say about it. And uh, that it was pretty cool. To, to have had that experience. Also, uh, Yang Gantia, when you see him, he looks rather scary. In the thumbnail, like I said, he looks like a Goetia demon, but he's not. In the folklore traditions, he's more of a, a spirit with deer antlers. Um, and he has uh, five candles on his hands. And if you are an unlucky traveler in the night, he might approach you and give you a candle so that you may find your way. It also made me think back on the time that when my knee was healed, like the hand that pulled me back, maybe that was that spirit telling me like, stop. And maybe because I listened to that, then that I got, that my knee got healed. Maybe, I don't know, that's just speculation, but I mean, it did. I don't know, it's, it's tingling my uh, my sixth sense, if you will. <laughs> I think I, I've been rambling a bit in this video. I think so. But yeah, that was pretty amazing. Especially because that person, I mean, I didn't tell that person who did the ceremonial magic anything outside of the things that I mentioned in this video. So that was uh, nice to know that actually that spirit that is out there 
or that touched me is rather benevolently disposed towards me and that yeah that made all my fear go away to go back out there in that particular valley the weird valley the uncanny valley And yeah, that's that's really it. I, I would love to know what what others think about that. Because I could go on and on and on saying all sorts of things that I have to say about it. Or maybe I'll make a video about that in the in the future, after I've had some time to think about it a bit more. But yeah, I would love to know what you think. I it, it fascinates me to know and